The Fall Art Walk in downtown Helena takes place this Friday. Dozens of businesses and over 100 local artists are planning to participate. One of those artists is a Carroll College graduate now living in Washington who does portraits for a good cause. MTN's Tom Buchanan has that story. Portrait paintings are a powerful and long-standing medium, often used to convey someone's true self. Portrait artist Mary Larson has pursued this medium for over 20 years, using her talent to capture the essence of some of our population's most vulnerable. It's a way to celebrate their special spirits and um, share the ways that they inspire me, share that with other people. Larson graduated from Carroll College with a degree in nursing in 1995. And since then, her primary focus throughout her career has been working with the homeless. She now lives in her hometown of Seattle, where she spent countless days downtown with the city's homeless. No matter what the difficult times were that they were going through, that they still had a sparkle in their eye. Um, they were able to maintain hope and, and joy somehow, no matter how hard things got for them. Larson began painting portraits of the people she met during her day job. Using a reference photo, Larson will spend anywhere from a few weeks to months working on any particular portrait. She often juxtaposes the portrait with a background of a food label or manufacturer, highlighting the disparity between subject and sustenance or material items. Part of that inspiration came from what she saw play out at work. Here we were taking care of men and women who had no place to live. They'd come to the clinic and wait for a visit and there would be a golf digest and an architectural digest. Not only is Larson herself moved by her interactions and subsequent paintings, so are the people she paints. They might not have a roof over their head, they don't know where they're going to get their next meal. They feel like they're able to make a difference by lending their face to this project and helping others. In exchange for her canvases, Larson often asks buyers to pay in bulk quantities of food required by a food bank in the buyer's community. For example, one of her paintings sold for 1,200 cereal breakfast cups that were donated to Seattle's Rainier Valley Food Bank. Larson and her work will be featured at this fall's Art Walk this Friday from 4 to 8 in downtown Helena at Almond Brothers Real Estate. Portraits will be on display and available for purchase. Each portrait has a price based on Helena Foodshare's needs. Helena Foodshare is also willing to accept a cash equivalent to the requested amount of food. Reporting in Helena, Tom Buchanan, MTN News. It's been 34 years since a symbol of communism came tumbling down. On November 9, 1989, the Berlin Wall fell. And to mark the anniversary, German clubs at Helena High and Capitol High recreated and subsequently tore down their own version. MTN's Ali Kaiser was on hand for the local barrier breakdown. On the 34th anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall, German club students from Capitol and Helena High schools gathered at the Holter Museum of Art to commemorate the historic day. The nine students have been painted in 8x8 plywood and drywall mural since October 22nd and destroyed it on Thursday. This year is Biz Browning's first in the district and she works at both schools. She was inspired to have a Berlin Wall party from her years in high school. We had a Berlin party back in the day and there was just something really nice about building something together and, and talking through what it meant to us. But then having lived in Germany and then actually seen the wall, and I thought that project could be so much more. She was influenced by the art of Germany's East Side Gallery, which is the last remaining stretch of the wall running one mile long. It is believed to be the longest open-air gallery in the world. When deciding what to paint, Browning asked her students one simple question. What do you think divides us? Because obviously the Berlin Wall was a symbol of um, division and dividing cultures, dividing perspectives. And so the students with the puzzle pieces here, they wanted to pick things that were a little bit closer to home about what they feel divides them. For Helena High School junior Mark Dudley, being from different schools was a splitting factor. I've always had my rivalry, my rivalries with Capital, um, but I think doing this and getting to just know them better was bringing us closer to After reading President Ronald Reagan's speech that was a catalyst for the fall of the wall, students took hammers to their mural. Mr. Gorbachev, open this gate. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down! Sucks 
set. <laughs> we worked really hard on it, and now it's getting torn down. But I, I feel like it shows a more important aspect than it just be an art piece in the museum. Well, it was such a hit with the kids that they planned to make it an annual project. In Helena, Ali Kaiser, MTN News.